Welcome everyone, my name is Mary the Blood. We are back with some more course party. We are on chapter three. We are learning a little bit of Miss Yu's past. And it turns out Miss Yu kind of already had a encounter with um Heavenly Host before they end up going in have going in Heavenly Host again before um before um before when in the present date, I wanna say when she yeah, in the present date before she becomes a teacher. So we're gonna learn some more. And if you didn't know, well now you know. Also, let's get these videos at over ten likes. If you do that with all these videos in this series, I will do course party the first game. If not, I'll probably do it when I feel like it. And I'll move on. And I'm probably going to play Course Party um, 2 of you, to be honest. That was a pretty interesting game. Shout out to um, Manly Badass. He, he, he did a lot of... Um, he didn't talk too much about it. But he he um, he um did a little bit of um, research on it when he was playing Course Party Blood Drive. You can also watch that. He was also playing that. He played a lot of Course Party games, to be honest. Um, but he didn't play 2 of you. And I kind of am interested in 2 of you as... It's a little more fan service for you guys, wink wink, but it's also, um, it has another alternative storyline as if you haven't noticed with all Course Party, um, the people who end up, you know, being trapped there, they end up keep going back there, but a different situation, but same kind of tragic line. But anyway... Enough of me talking ahead of time and everything else. We are going to continue. And we are in this beautiful room full of pandas. A nice portrait on the wall. I don't have no portrait on my wall. Nice window. And a nice studious desk. And on the calendar, it says 9. So I'm guessing it's September. Anyway, I woke up with a start. The air in my room had gotten horribly colder. And I was shivering. I usually fall back to sleep when I get when things start getting a little too cold in my room, to be honest. Those, those are the worst times to be awake. I must have fallen asleep. Because I love sleeping through cold weather. Puts me right to sleep. Gets you nice and cuddly. Any, anyway, enough about me. Rubbing my eyes, I glanced at my clock. The needles indicated that it was 6.45. It's already this late. It was black outside, my window streets were light from the still pouring rain. Still hope it's sunny tomorrow. Sunny for my exam, the weight of what the next day held for me came rushing into mind. I practiced the interview process with my teachers th quite thoroughly, but it's still quite nervous. Okay, I need to make sure I'm ready for tomorrow. There was still a little time before dinner, my mind swimming. I decided to take my opportunity to clean up all my notes and textbooks and I didn't need to <laughs> <my smartphone laughs> Let's see, student ID needs to stay out of the answer. Gotta make sure I don't forget my exam. Oh, and my pen case, huh? Uso. Oh crap, where's the pen case? Did I leave it at school? Dun dun dun. My face we had time that long, but this case, uh, the pencil is where you Hey, mom, I just want to go home. What? That's okay. I'll come home. So, all right, it's still raining, so be careful. Uh. I will. And that's where you messed up. That pencil was talking to us. So we found this case I ran back to you. I was flipping to the downpour. All the wild and down for us. I was flipping to the downpour. All the wild and down for us. I was flipping to the downpour. All the wild and down for us. I was flipping to the downpour. As
もしかしてやだなもう階段なのにあんなの作り話だって込み上げてくる恐怖を押さえつけるために声を出して自分を知ったするみあげた校舎に人影はないこんな時間なら生徒はもう帰宅しているだろうし先生だってどれくらい残っているのかけれど廊下の電気はまだ全てついていたあれだけ明るければよしパッと行ってパッと済ましちゃおう。けさのおばあさんね、さっき亡くなったみたい。その天神小学校で放課後、校舎の見回りをしていた女のせい、その日は10月のちょうど今日みたいに雨が降る放課後で、こういう日は、よしえさんが出るんだって、天神小学校が亡くなってしまったことに気づいていないよしえさんは、とにかくパッと教室に行ってペンケース取ってこなくてあのペンケースだってあれはいつもよりこの廊下が長い感じがするただですいつもは賑やかな場所がこんなにも静まり返っていると雨の。きっとまだ吹奏楽部のことが先生が残って弾いてるんだよ。何でもかんでも怖い話に直結怖いと思ったら何でも怖く思えるものだよね。あとちょっとで教室。やっとたどり着いた。
inside the school and outside the building. Sure, it was still dead on, but the fear I've been feeling on the day is nothing like it. I'm not going to I grabbed the pancakes and I came back to the station. Yes, got it. Okay, mission complete. With all my long ideal behind me, more or less, I looked into the classroom and let out another sign. I only had known the classroom when I was busy with the stuff found the eerie sound and heard stillness to be. I got there again I had to try doing something I know what I'm doing like standing at a teacher for you and writing them to me the air is kind of funny for what the teacher is doing so that's the worst like this kid I dream of standing here myself one day and I already just have to get there for my position with a real opportunity like this no one's looking to my classmates this would be this would seem as like the same as stupid dilemma, but that didn't change the way I felt. Do should I should or not? Wow, we actually have a choice. I'm gonna say I'm gonna leave. Dame, dame. Okay. I, 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 I decided it would be best to put my ears inside and leave the classroom. Oh, no, 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 So it's, you gotta feel like a real teacher. I decided I had to try it during the day clean up and type. I come and go from this spot kind of time. But this was the first time I ever had had to stand there and preside over the classroom. So this is how it is. Getting a teacher's point of view and the noise. The little sense was starting to get me fired up. It may seem silly now, but this was my state. This was where all my dreams would play out someday. I began to imagine the future that inside me. Painstakingly deep in some new piece of knowledge for students sitting and taking the at their deck. Gliding chalk across the board, filling it up with information to everything. I mean, they're I, I was getting so excited that I began to think I did a little bit of Maybe it was the 
Suddenly, my surroundings were bathed in darkness, going stiff with shock. I stumbled back to step. My back stuck to the blackboard with a dark back. My off the timing, I essentially grabbed hold of the rail where the races. I felt chalk against my fingertips. My panic heart was making it difficult to breathe. Was this cause the thunderstorm was so not go. It was that girl who was trying to warn me. That was impossible. She was no force to tell her in the future. As far as I was aware, how could she possibly know this would happen? Hell, even if she were a fortune, a fortune teller or a psychic, predicting the future is to stop of science fiction. I shook my head. That's still far to right. I curled my chalk that the pages into a fifth. And finally tried to talk some sense into him. I gotta get out of here. I should have had been playing teacher. I should have been. Well, if you weren't playing teacher, you would have got killed by the door. So, go figure, right? Cursing myself a little, I fumbled my way through the door. I spent so much time in here, you would think that I'd be able to find my way out of here with my eyes closed to work. But sadly, that wasn't the case. Smashing all into the gas, I met it on its side of the vent on the appearance. He was browsing the other day. Still forming my dark. Finally, I got up all the scattered notes. Demo, could act in Nanigananda. Let all this sign, I seem to be doing that a lot. Okay, I was knocking to take in sort of all the things I've knocked out of the desk. Then, realize why I might as well just stand up. Not that it's time to fix it. Explain what I've done when the need, no matter how I should put it. The way I've not tried to clear the kitchen of my comfort. If I didn't say anything, it's not like. I'll be fine now, but that would be the same as mine as far as I'm concerned. I can do <laughs> Okay, I think I got everything. I placed my hand inside the floor and sweeped it around and felt for anything I missed. And, and I found something. <laughs> Gross, yep. what is this? That's funny. I could have brought my pen across something, but I had another way to go. There was no flying. Step. Maybe it has been in the cell. But what is this stuff? I run my pen across deeper into the west part. My hand feels just what one of the I just touched. <coughs> there was a flash of almost a flying cloud. And with this split second, the deep black classroom was lit up. See? <laughs> Seems like they were covered in blood, but it wasn't just, just my friend. No, it was a vision that was trusted. It looked like the entire class was staying. So, yeah, but that was kind of covered blood here, too. Without thinking, I backed away from where I'd been crouching and I tried to rest on what I saw. How could a whole classroom be covered in blood that I could see something still? Is someone stumbling? It's not possible, it can't be. My whole body was shaking, I felt from the classroom, or rather. I was certain that this, that way, I saw 
Teacher's podium. I saw him huddle myself inside. I grabbed my knees and curled up and made myself talk. What is it? What's happening? The first of good changes right now on me. Little by little, sound grew. I did all my breaks. I was just back leaves. I held my breath and clapped my feet together. They were close now. Why was this happening? I couldn't. Make any sense of it. I just wanted it to be over. I pray to God that it wouldn't. Was this when no one was trying to warn me about? Was this all happening because I ignored her? Because I didn't take the paper dogma? Was it because I heard the ghost story of of Yoi? Yoi? I don't know. And I allowed it. Or did the strange event of day have nothing to do with what was happening? I was still holding my breath and didn't dare let even the tennis of sounds escape and give it a position. Tap, 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 I had goosebumps up and down my body, and I stopped praying and clapped my hands over my mouth. And I knew I was screaming if I did. I couldn't speak. I was just scold. <laughs> All I can do is close my eyes and keep my mouth shut. Comfort, whatever it is, would go. But the footsteps sounds didn't start again. It was, and she stopped in front of the classroom, and was just standing there. I had no concept of time anymore. I stayed in the high spot for what was probably a few minutes that felt like I wonder was gone. I decided to carefully peek out from under the podium. I gently edged my head up far enough to get my hand inside the footsteps and I was knowing
It was almost seem like they were in Or it sounds like someone's tap dancing to be honest. Yeah, it did. Stop it. And now it's over there again. And now it's not here. Loud, dark, oh, the sound. No, of course, that I heard that it's a hundred times before. And the sound of the peak out, but the door was still shut, and someone was still over. <laughs> what safely is gone, but there, heard. <sighs> I hate these decisions, man. I don't know. Uh, stepping out into the open wasn't a desire one, but I had to decide if it was best to stay here or was it to make a break for it. Um, what do you think, guys? Uh, I think I'm gonna make a break for it. Staying one felt too much, but almost made it, I felt something. But something along threads stuck me in the back of my head. Or perhaps stuck as an artwork. It was a little far behind me, but it wasn't. It wasn't a hard slam. More so. I knew it was something. Still still Thank you. 
I'm about to get a dead end. I know that. <laughs> I'm not even trying to read it all. Wait, what? Okay. So I made the right decision to make a break for it. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> okay. Stop! Yeah, I had a feeling I'm like, man, that's gonna choke me. <laughs> I thought my arm was about to snap up, and then all of a sudden, I was whisked away. Whisked away by Tati. Are you alright? No time is playing left battery. What? Okay, we're gonna save this part because I don't want to go back to those decisions. I should have paid more attention. We're still holding on to me <laughs> uh, tightly after saving me from the brink of death. He held me back into this. He led me back into this cool and closed the <laughs> No, you're not. He practically spit these words as he continued on it. Why is that going on? I tried to match his gear, and once we were a bit more in sync, I looked up at his face. After we reached the end of the hall, he suddenly peered into the last room before the hallway, putting me in. The same room y'all just were in. Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I looked over from and almost ran. To the room like a house of cards. Oh, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, maybe not. Hey, don't push yourself. Brad, right, my arm bailed me out. Unfortunately, it was dumb. That was the first thing. Don't worry. I'm sorry, don't worry. Yeah, I don't know how bad it is. But it's on fire. My other arm was the source for where I assume they were probably when I was on food. I started rubbing and fighting it and fell. So, 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 そう、<笑> Yourself in an unfree voice, breathe and rip through the dark corridor. I immediately kill myself again. What? Bring me more. Over his shoulders, I saw the sand. I struggled for a massive man waiting for us. It's alright. But the ghost was moaning and wavering before us. おい、師匠。俺があいつを引きつけるから、その隙に走って逃げ。え俺には秘密。え俺のばあさんからもらった片身の守り。さっきあいつにこれを向けたら少し。片身の。あ。でも、近づく。俺。え、おい、お前。
どうしよう I suffered quite a bump on the head from my fall and was decidedly disoriented, but I still had enough sense to put my arms around. Bara! You didn't tell me! You didn't tell me! You didn't tell me! I'm sorry, it's just I wanted to be taken. I couldn't bear the thought of losing you. That's what I wanted. But instead, it just passed on and on. I felt as though I was walking into a long, horrible dream. Oh, are you okay? Hey, you okay? <laughs> Like, hey, up, <laughs> Where are we? Are we really okay? Are we 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 okay? どうしてもこうしてもお前があんなところで倒れてたからここに連れてきてやったんじゃあんなところおいおいまだ具合悪いんじゃないのか肛門だよ肛門肛門に私そうだけど私確かに学校の中でヨシエさんから逃げて腕はあ夢だっうん、うん、そんなはずないだってああまあなんか様子が変だけどとにかくこういうのって虫の知らせって言うんだな
。なんとなく気になってお前ん家に行ったら、お前のお母さんに学校に行ったって聞いてな。つかさくん。うんうん。まあ、とりあえず、詳しい話は後で聞くからさ。ちょっと。あ、つかさくん、行っちゃった。あら、シシドさん。先生。驚いたわよ。三国くんが結相会って私を呼びに来るんだもの。私が到着。ご迷惑を。それはいいのよ。でも、あなた随分うなされていたから、悪い。悪い。そうよ。三国くんもすごく心配。そうだ。やっぱり、きっと、ともかく、もう、はい。さあ。なんか変な顔してるね。お前うなされてただろ汗もかいてたし喉乾いたんじゃないかなと思ってさあお前さ明日というかもう今日か。推薦の試験だろ何時からだあ,あと4時間かもう無理だよ今日は to be alive sob sob ちょうどいいからお前にいいもの見せてやるよ。いいものおうそうだな。むしろお前には見てよ。うん。The two of us left the nurse's office for the test. And the lady, even though I was hoping for a coffee in my hand, I still felt warm all together. Aww. Neither of us said a thing as he led me through the empty hallways for the test. And that when we last saw one another, I was mad at him. What? Look. ここって渡り廊下まあまあ、もうすぐだから。もうすぐきのうのこと。俺ここでよく夕日を眺めてるんだけどさ朝日もいいもんだな。元気出てきたここってつかさくんのああ今まで絶対に教えてくれなかったのにどうして今日は別に
no reason. Right? Not to know. I have to think of a reason why I didn't say anything. It just seemed like kind of far fetched to me and like it was necessary for him. It would be very embarrassing if he couldn't possibly do that. At least, but I don't know. At least, because he can be cheap. She's drinking cold coffee. I know that. The brand, I can't really say it in science. What's that? ありがとう。え、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なんだ、なん
What was that? One of my students had to <laughs> put their, <laughs> their arm. Huh? I read, I finally realized what he was talking about. I was holding arm in my own and squeezing all three tight. いいけどさ。いいけどさ。ああ、そう。これでも昔は通訳吐かない美少女として巷に名を馳せたものだけど。いや、ベリーよ。えっと。ああ、ハウズアクイズ。それどこから突っ込んでいいの適厳しいわね
。第一、夜道を女の人一人で歩くなんて危険だよ。ふん。持田君は優しいね。そういうとこキュンとしちゃう。<笑>俺<笑>そういうこと、俺に言っていいのえ<笑><笑>つかさくんって誰ゆい先生寝てるときずっとその人のこと呼んでたよ。誰なの<笑><笑>つかさくんはね。うーん。その様子じゃ、ゆい先生はよっぽど、その人のことが。えだって、先生さっきすごかったよ。ちょっと。<笑>これは。うーん。まあ、いいや。そういうことにして。<笑>あんまり大人をからかわないで<笑>だってこんなゆい先生とはやばいそろそろ帰る今日はありがとうねはあそれじゃあ先生食事をきちんととって頑張って早くファイトありがとういい子だな持ちだヒーヒー And that is the encounter. Chapter three cleared. Purgatory chapter is now playable.、Mm. Yes, I want to say. Yep. But that's the end of chapter three. This video was kind of long, I'm not gonna lie to you on that. But I hope you guys sticked around and enjoyed it, because I did. To be honest, from when I was watching the video launch, <laughs> of the,、um, shout out to、um, Eric Van Walderman. When I was when I'm watching that video, I wasn't really paying too much attention. So, you know how you know how things go. But anyway, follow me on Twitter, VTB696, and, um, Sayonara. <laughs>